Wiring systems. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to put your pro sleeve onto your existing oars. You know, if you have a set of cataracts, Sawyers, or, or such and such, um, this would be an upgrade for your system. Uh, so you'll immediately, we're going to use a, a Prolox oar here for demonstration. But you, uh, in a cat, let's say in a cataract situation or a sawyer, you would have already removed your rope and prepped your oars. In the sense of a cataract, there's very little prep. You just remove the rope, clean off the glue, and you're ready to go. It would be just like this. I'm going to use your stopper that comes with your next gen kit and your sleeve. So let's do a step one. I guess the first thing you would do is measure where your rope started and stopped in its uh, in a stock position. You know, take those measurements either from the top of your oar or the bottom of your oar and write them down. That way you have a reference point for when you trim this plastic. So you take a plastic, it's a shrink PVC, slide it on the oars. Go. And we're gonna slide this on. Past your reference points, I suggest you make a couple marks on your oars to make sure you have an overlap so you're able to cut some off of, of each side. All right. You're going to take your stopper and you're going to take the smooth side out. Let's go ahead and shrink it now. So this can be done with a, you know, just a out of the box heat gun. You could probably even use your propane heater out of your drift boat. Shrinking it evenly all the way around. It's a very simple install. Something that everybody can do. Go ahead and stop it. Alright, so we've shrunk this whole sleeve, taking our time, not getting too close to the sleeve to burn it, but just enough to tightly shrink it. Alright. We'll take our stopper that comes with our kit. I'll snug this thing down. Where I, can, where I can still move it though. There we go. I'm going to measure to those reference, point, reference points we were discussing. Our mind is almost right on here. Make sure your uh, stopper's square on the oar. There's clamping it down. Double check our measurements. Right on. I'm gonna take a utility knife with a with a new blade. And I'm gonna lightly score. Come around the side here. I'm going to lightly score right next to the stopper. Not cutting all the way through yet. Just lightly like scratch it. And then go over it a couple times. And try not to cut into your oar. Just barely touch it with that tip of that blade. You'll know. You'll be able to feel it once it's cut. Now try not to scratch your oar, come in at an angle, and it's that easy. Now you'll take this off, because you're going to turn it around to do, your, to do your bottom end. Okay, notice how, how nice that is, nice, square, and smooth. Okay. you can figure out a way to have the to hold it and make it convenient for you
Okay. Right there. Again, tighten it down. Making sure that your stopper is square. Oh, I screwed up already. So you want to have this on the inside. Stop it. 